Hey guys, it's Will from EDM Tips and in this video I'm going to show you how to take your chords from this to this and then finally to this. You can also download my chord bible completely free below this video which is going to show you exactly how to build up amazing chords in any genre of music. Ok without further ado let's hop into the door and get it done. The first things we need to touch upon really quickly before we build the chords are notes, scales and intervals. This is going to be really quick and by the end of it you should understand it. So every track that you listen to has been produced in a particular scale. Now a scale is just a series of notes that sound good together and in western music we tend to use heptatonic scales which just means there are seven notes in the scale. Now the simplest of which is A minor natural. If we just press scale in Ableton and most modern doors have these now, you can actually see the notes within your scale. They're highlighted blue here. So if we start on A, we've got seven notes in that scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then it goes up to an octave. And that's the framework in which we build the chords. And the chords we're going to build today are called diatonic chords. That sounds fancy, but all it means is we are only going to be using notes from within the scale of A minor natural. But as I said, these techniques will work for any scale. It's just A minor is the simplest to teach in. So now let's look at intervals. Well, I've already counted them for you. One, that's the root note. Then you've got the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh. And then the eighth is the octave. Now let's look at the most simple chords, triad chords. Why is it called a triad? Because there are three notes in it. But Will, I hear you ask, which notes are in the triad chord? The standard triad chord has the first, the third, and the fifth, which is this one. So a standard triad chord for A minor will be this. And it sounds minor. But what other chords are we going to be using today to get to God level chords? Well, we're going to be using a seventh chord. So if this is the fifth, we just count up two notes and add the seventh. And this is a seventh chord which I love, it just sounds more emotional to me. Or we could take it two intervals higher and then it becomes a ninth chord. So that's the seventh, there's eighth, the octave, take it to ninth, and here's a ninth chord. Now, there are two more chords that we're going to be working with today, a sus4 and a sus2, and again, they sound more complex than they are. So a sus4 chord is where you take the third, and just move it up to the fourth position, like that. And a sus2 is when you move the third down to the second position. But what I found out is you don't need to be moving the third up to the fourth or down to the second. You could actually move the first up to the second. So I don't know if that's technically still a sus2 chord, but it still sounds cool if used in the right place, and I'll show you the right place. Or you could move that fifth interval down to the fourth instead of the third up to the fourth. So now we've got some really cool chords. This is our palette for making pro level chords, so that's what we're going to do next. Let's draw out a basic chord progression. So if we're just using notes from within the scale, we've got the bass notes, and now let's build up those standard triads above them. So first, third, fifth. First, third, fifth. And then first, third, fifth. And you've all heard this a million times in a million pop songs. Oh. So let's kick things up a notch, take it to pro level. I've just added a more interesting rhythm because really that was properly boring. So this is where we are at the moment. Like, sounds cool, sounds okay, but it sounds boring. So the first thing we're going to do is add this seventh to some of these chords. So there we've gone from the fifth, sixth, and seventh. And again, we'll do it for this chord. And we'll do it for this chord. And then we'll do it for the last chord. Now, on some chords, when you add the seventh, it can sound a bit weird, and that's because it's a diminished chord. And this last one is one of those. So let's listen to the first three and you'll hear it sounds a bit weird when it gets to the last one. Sounds a bit weird, right? All you have to do in that situation is when you've added that seventh note and it sounds a bit weird, just put it up to the next interval or down to the next interval within that scale. So we're just gonna put it up to there. And now it's fixed the problem.
So the next thing that we're going to do for our Pro Levels chords is what's known as chord inversions. And this is just when you change the order of these notes within each chord. So A is the root note of the chord, as we discussed on a standard triad. What we're going to do is just grab this seventh note and bring it down. And we could grab this root note and put it up if we wanted. But it usually sounds good when all the notes are kind of close together on the keyboard. So if you're not doing really big jumps. So if we take these two down, everything's within a smaller range on the keyboard. Uh, but we'll have to keep that up there, otherwise it's just going to have three notes in the chord, which will make it sound a bit weaker. Uh, and now we've got this much cooler sounding chord progression. Nice. Now, instead of seventh chords, you can use a ninth or an eleventh chord. I tend to find that if you try and use too many of them all at once and then start doing chord inversions, it sounds too cluttered. So this is adding the ninth, which sounds really cool at the moment. But if you start doing inversions, you have to be a bit careful things don't get a bit too cluttered, because sometimes they can. It still sounds great, actually, so just use your ears and decide if it's starting to sound a bit too messy. Okay, so that's kind of pro level chords. I'm really happy with that already, but I really want to show you how you can take this to the next level and just make people think you're some freaking maestro. So again, it's just using the chords that we've already talked about today. Let's go back to the standard triads, as we have done. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually change the bass line and make that a bit more interesting. Again, only with notes from within A minor. So I'm using this, these blue ghost notes here. You can silence all of your chords if you want, so you're just hearing the bass notes if that makes things easier, like this. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. So let's turn these triads on again. And now we are going to get really professor. So let's add some of these sus2 and sus4 chord positions. Now as we discussed near the beginning, we could take the third up to that sus4 position, like so. But you have the options, you could move it down to the sus2 position. Like whatever you think is going to sound best. And when you add a seventh note in that as well, and then you want to use an inversion, no problem. Suddenly you're starting to get something that sounds really unique, really special. So I'm just going to go through each of these chords and add some sparkle like this using the sus2 position, the sus4 position, and a seventh chord or a ninth chord if I see fit. So this is the second triad. Boring. So let's add the seventh. And let's take the root position up to the sus2 instead of the third down to it, because I remember I said we could do that. And let's see how it sounds. But I don't really like that, so I'm just going to undo, and then I'm going to take the fifth. Instead, I'll take that down to the sus4 position. That might sound better. Yes, because it's got some repetition to this bit. So I'll add the seventh chords here. Third, fifth, seventh. Actually, I'll add the ninth to really spice things up. And then we're going to take it down a couple of octaves, just one octave actually, and we'll take this one down an octave too. So we're just playing with chord inversions. And for the last chord, let's add the seventh. Oh no, because that goes to the weird diminished chord. So let's add the seventh and take it down to the closest one, which is here. And we're going to try taking the fifth down to the sus4 position for these last few notes instead. Again, instead of taking the third up to the sus4, we're taking the fifth down to the sus4. Let's have a listen. It 
So now we've got our God level chords, let's add the melody, let's add some vocals, let's add some beats, and this is what we come up with. Don't really hope you enjoyed that guys if you did please like it share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel for music production tutorials each and every week and don't forget to check out some of the other videos on my channel which are popping up there as well also don't forget to follow me over on instagram for music production tips each and every day until next time thanks for watching cheers and happy producing